All right, I recently did a job. Uh, my son and I had dug out a, for a trampoline pad. The ground was very steep and rocky, so I was trying to come up with a way to move the backhoe easier on uh, steep ground. I did, I built a, what I call a backhoe mover. It operates on a parallelogram and lifts the backhoe up and then sets it down. When it's all the way up, it, it puts more weight on the tractor wheels so it's easier to get up steep hills. Um, I'm gonna show you how it works. And just remember, this is just a prototype that I built so that I could cut apart and get all the measurements right before I actually build the finished one. It worked, it worked well then, and I've made some changes, and it seems to really work well now. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I sell plans for this backhoe and electric tractor. The one flaw I had with the machine was that it was hard to move on steep ground. A lot of people can use the arm to pull the machine up steep hills. That will require some practice. I recently built a mover that seems to work really well. This mover will go in place of the front loader bucket on the electric tractor. Using a simple lift system, the weight of the backhoe was moved over the drive wheels, allowing me to go up steep hills. You can move the backhoe into the work area with this mover. The backhoe and tractor can be used separately while trenching, allowing the electric tractor to move dirt independently. You can also dig with the backhoe on the mover. I build machines that can do a lot of work while using just a little bit of energy. My goal is to use all electric machines that can be charged from my solar panels. I'm almost there. This backhoe that I am using has a gas engine. It can just as easily run on an electric motor. I have also learned that a tractor or machine can do just about anything if we throw enough horsepower at it. The problem with that thinking is that more horsepower means more noise and heat. I'm pretty sure that the price of fuel is starting to get people thinking about how to do the job without using so much fuel. The trick is figuring out how to do a job while using as little energy as possible. Sometimes we have to be able to be happy taking smaller bites and taking a little longer to do the job. I originally put this front plate on the backhoe to keep the rocks coming off the bank from going underneath the backhoe. So um, I did not design it for burying ditches, but I thought I'd give it a try to see how it works. <laughs> 